When talking about German clocks, we could have talked about anniversary clocks or 400-day clocks, but they really deserve their own section here to discuss. This is the typical style with the four balls that uh, rotate slowly back and forth. Millions of these were made in Germany. Millions probably came back uh, as souvenirs uh, with tourists or with GIs after World War II. Uh, but because there were so many of them, these really have no collector value. They're fun to watch. I occasionally repair them for people for sentimental reasons, but uh, they're not a clock that uh, serious clock collectors would collect. The exception to that are the very earliest ones. There's an example of that here, which instead of the four balls, has a disc pendulum. So we call these disc pendulum 400-day clocks. Uh, because uh, obviously the four ball method was probably more attractive, but early on this was the way that they arranged the pendulum to, uh, to look and to oscillate with adjustments on it for slow fast. These are called anniversary or 400 day clocks because at least theoretically they only need winding once a year. And they do this by metering out that power very slowly. If you think about a regular pendulum clock, that pendulum is ticking very fast, running down that spring or weight in a, within a day or a week. If you can slow down the pendulum oscillation somehow, you're going to stretch out the period in which the mainspring can, can unwind without having to be rewound. In this case, the pendulum hangs on a torsion spring, a very thin wire, and this pendulum disc only goes back and forth about eight times a minute as opposed to a hundred or more in uh, most pendulum clocks. So we're metering out that power very slowly, enabling this to run for months or perhaps even a year on a single winding. Not particularly accurate. They can wander around in time. Very fussy. They're hard to, uh, to make run accurately or consistently unless they're on a very firm surface. But they're fun to watch. If you just want a quality German timepiece that's interesting to watch, here's this. If you want one of collector quality, look for a disc pendulum version.